Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Game Awards. So, I wanted to do a quick video about the Game Awards and my predictions, and I kind of wanted to kind of vote with you guys here live. Um, I know I probably should have done this, and a few of them might be closed by now, but I just thought it'd be cool just because, you know, unfortunately, I'll be working all day today, so you might be seeing this video um, either later today or I guess. Oh, actually, no, you might be seeing this video today, but you'll, you'll see my reaction to the Game Awards tomorrow. Um, but obviously, that's, uh, you know, it doesn't matter because, you know, I'll be editing it on my own time. But I want to talk about what I was hoping to see at the Game Awards, especially with all the news coming up. Obviously, I want to do all the nominees, so I kind of want to go in and, and kind of, you know, put my vote in live. Um, so obviously I'm excited for whatever Nintendo news we get in regards to, you know, maybe a new Zelda trailer. Um, I'm also excited for all the Sonic stuff that we, we might be getting. You know, they, they announced that Sonic will be there. And not only will we be getting a trailer for the movie, but a trailer for the game as well. So I'm super excited about that. Um, you know, and plus I want, you know, obviously trailers for other games. You know, don't know if we'll get anything for Bayonetta or any other upcoming games. Um, so I'm definitely excited for that. So let's go ahead and start voting. Let's see what my general thoughts are. So game of the year. Game of the year is kind of hard because, you know, I unfortunately couldn't play any of these games. I wanted to play Resident Evil 8, um, you know, right after I finished my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. But I wanted to play 8 on the PS5 and unfortunately I couldn't get one, right? Hopefully I'll get one for Christmas. So it might be a playthrough for next year, which is exa exactly why I couldn't play Ratchet and Clank or any of the other games like It Takes Two. Um, I know I think this one was also on PS4, but again, I don't think I I had uh, someone to play with and plus, you know, not not enough time Obviously, I also wanted to play um, play Metroid Dread But around that time my switch started to, to mess up and I was busy playing Luigi's Mansion and, and finishing other Halloween games So, you know like Resident Evil 7. So, you know a lot of stuff happened um, I guess between the two of them it, you know, It Takes Two was really fun when it came out, like it was fun watching people play. Um, but I mean, I feel like Ratchet & Clank was also a very beautiful game. It literally showed what the PS5 can do. Um, and I didn't play Metroid, and I'm kind of being biased just to give, you know, Nint Nintendo a win and, you know, give them another Legend of Zelda moment. So it's between these two for me. But we'll go back to Game of the Year, at, at, you know, until the end. Um, but I'm definitely excited. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I guess I can go uh, and I can come back. So, for example, I, I, I don't really expect too much because normally, um, y you know, we, we would be expecting like a Smash announcement or something. But, you know, now Smash is over. So we got to like, you know, rely on other stuff. So for me, it's the Sonic news. But I mean, you know, the last two game awards, you know, we had Joker, we had Sephiroth. So it's definitely a, a, a good place to announce stuff, right? So let's see, best game direction, awarded to most outstanding creative vision and innovation. Let's see, so, innovation. Um, I, again, it's between this one and this one, because this obviously is a beautiful game, it looks great, but then this one, just the fact that you get to play with someone, like, in real time, is kind of crazy. We don't, we don't have games like this anymore, so let me, let me think. Creative vision and innovation. I just think it's cool that you can play live with someone. I know it's like local, it's with one person. Because um, hmm. I'm, 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 I'm really, you know, this one I've, I've tried to avoid spoilers because I've obviously, I obviously want to play it. Um, and it's like, sure, it, it looks great, it works amazingly on the PS5, but that's what you would expect with the AAA game, like Insomniac, you know, after making Spider-Man. So for innovation, I'm gonna go with It Takes Two. Just because, you know, like, it's so cool that you get to play with someone live and, and, and interact with them. And I, I, I don't know. I think it's cool. So let's see. Best narrative. She. Okay. So again, I, I, st I st watched a little bit of this. So this narrative looks interesting. The, 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 the dad and the mom and the, the struggle they're going through. Um, I wanted to play Guardians of the Galaxy and I wanted to get it on the Switch. But it was the cloud version and I'm kind of af afraid of the cloud people tell me that you know it's just not good because you have to be connected to the internet and like that's the whole purpose of the switch that you're supposed to be able to take it mobile so i feel like this is a game that i'll probably get on the ps5 or in the future once i either get my own or get more time i'll probably download it um 
And now I'm, I'm I'm super excited for Life is Strange. I know this game already came out, but again, I'm waiting for the Switch version. A lot of this stuff is because the PlayStation I currently own isn't mine, so obviously I can't really go go around downloading everything. Most of the games I've been playing, it's it's because my brother already owns them. So you know, I, I also want, wanted to play them, so he you know lets me borrow it. Um, but I, I can't really download everything you know that I want. It's not my Switch. Uh, it's not my PlayStation. Don't want to kind of put stuff in there that isn't mine. Plus, you know, I don't think he has a lot of space in it, so I, I would have to delete, you know, other games, and, you know, obviously I don't want to ruin his stuff, so, between all of them, I hear Guardians is really good, I don't know much about these other two, Deathloop, I'm surprised that they're even here, isn't this game not out yet, like, I heard so many vote, uh, trailers and stuff, and I don't think the game is out, if it is out, then congratulations, you're finally out, um, and then I don't know anything about this one, I'm gonna go with, you know, Life is Strange, because I'm super excited to play it. I haven't seen anything about it yet. Definitely expect a playthrough on this game, as well as Guardians. Uh, but of, of course, narrative, you know, a game like Life is Strange is going to win. I mean, th that's what I hope, so we'll see. But, but you know, let me see. Okay, it doesn't tell me, like, it doesn't tell me... I can keep switching? No, 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 I just stick with one. I just wanted to see, it doesn't tell me... Okay, okay, sure. I was gonna say it doesn't tell me um, how many people are voting for, but I guess that's the the, the 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 deal, right? So let's see. Best art direction, definitely Kana. I like I said, this game looks beautiful, but when I, when I think of art direction, it's like uniqueness. Like this is obviously a beautiful. It looks real, like everything. This, like if they give me like like best looking game or whatever, it's de definitely this one. But I mean the art direction. This is literally. Zelda meets Avatar The Last Airbender so and I'm definitely I would definitely want to play this again This is another game you can expect on the channel when I get a ps5. So we'll see all right. So next category Let's see music and score. Oh Okay, I know I heard a lot about near but I don't want to vote it just to be like just to be biased or, or for what people told me Obviously, it's square enix, you know, it's 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 that Kingdom Hearts kind of style Final Fantasy but I haven't played it, I haven't heard it, so I'm not gonna pick it. I did hear the soundtrack for this one, and even though it's like music we've already, you know, we already know, it's it's pretty rock and roll, right? So I'm gonna go with that. All right. So best audio. Audio is obviously how you, what you hear. Hmm. Okay. Again, I haven't seen much about the game, but I'm sure it sounds great. But audio design is like, you know, how everything sounds when you're running around and do, I, I guess Forza would be the game, but from, from my experience of Resident Evil 7 and regular Resident Evil, I know how good they can be, so I'm going to go with them. You know, the, the atmosphere, the scary noises, like, I, I, that's what I assume. This is, this is actually, uh, I'm assuming, especially with, with the games that, that are on the list. I know I said I, I really was enjoying this game, but like so far it's not winning. So I guess not playing a game really that uh, d really definitely plays a role. Let's see. So I don't know much of these people. Hmm, best performance. I hear it's that this guy did good in Far Cry 6. We got Deathloop, hmm, Resident Evil Village. She's Lady Demester. Ooh, okay, okay. Best performance. Oh, that's tough because I haven't played any of these games, um, and I'm kind of biased. Ooh, Lady Demestre, you know. Um, and then this is Alex Chen from Life is Strange. Performance, you gotta go for a Life is Strange character. I mean, that's what I'm gonna go with because Life is Strange always has some good narrative. So, and again, but I haven't played that game, so that was kind of like a random choice. Games for Impact. Hmm, I don't know much of these other indie games so I'm gonna go with Life is Strange again just because I don't know these games so that's on me um, but I'm sure Life is Strange is just better best ongoing let's see we got Apex Final Fantasy 7 online Fortnite Genshin and Call of Duty Warzone obviously these three have, have done a big impact um, Call of Duty Warzone is pretty popular Genshin of course rose the ranks it's an anime game I should definitely try it out Final Fantasy 7, uh, no, that's Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 14 online, that's another th game that I kind of forgot exists. Uh, but yeah, Fortnite, definitely. I mean, I've had so much fun with the game. We just got a new chapter, and it's obviously just a lot better than most of these games. Um, I, you know, maybe not Genshin. I hear Genshin is pretty unique, but definitely. If you're going to play any oh, Final Fantasy, uh, you know what? I got to play more games. <laughs> All right, best indie, indie. Boom, there we go. Yeah, because unfortunately, like, oh, you know what? 12 minutes was really fun. Um, I did actually get to play it um, on my own time, but I also saw a lot of YouTubers play it. So, 
but yeah i'm super excited for this i want to get you know a, a lot of love to this game you know let's see let's see best mobile game hmm best mobile game well it's funny because i didn't play pokemon unite hmm i i, I saw a lot of trailers for this um, let's give Nintendo more love. I hear it's a fun game. Not really for me. It's like a, it's, this is literally like League of Legends. I don't play League of Legends. I guess Genshin should win, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure Genshin would win, but I want to give Nintendo more categories. That way they're, I don't know, they get more, uh, more awards, right? Best, uh, best community support. Oh, bro, definitely Fortnite. I mean, we get updates and, and these cool characters. Like, yeah. All right. What is this? So... Wait, innovation and accessibility. So I'm not sure, just because obviously that's, every game is different. So I'm just gonna go with accessibility. Well, I guess that's like the the settings, right? I'll go with Marvel because that's the only settings I watch. I watch somebody like at the start do a uh, a settings check, and I saw all the stuff you can do. So I'll leave it at that. Best VR AR. Hmm. Boom. Resident Evil Four. I mean, like, that's, uh, that, I heard so many good things about it, and I definitely want to try it out if I ever get a VR system, so, let's see, best action game, action game, probably Far Cry, right? Alright, here we go, next, alright, best action adventure, action adventure, action adventure, hmm, combat with traversal and puzzle solving, boom, definitely that. Cause this isn't this is a horror game this i feel again i haven't played it and i'm sure it's a cool action adventure game but i feel like it's also like a you know what these two would be good right solving puzzles but i don't know i feel like this is more combat heavy like 2d side scrollers aren't really my thing which is why i kind of also wasn't super excited to play metroid i feel like I'm, i was more excited to play this than metroid but all the hype that this got you know is definitely uh is definitely in, my, in the back of my mind you know so i'll definitely try it out sometime Best role playing? Let's see. Role playing game. Hmm. So, this one gave me heavy Astral Chain vibes. Should be guys intense. Ah, I'm gonna go with Scarlet Nexus because it just looks like um, Astral Chain. If I ever get the chance to play this, I'll definitely try it out. But first, I gotta play Astral Chain, of course. All right. Let's see. What else we got here? Best fighting? Best fight? Where's Smash Bros? Where? Why are you here? Where is Smash? All right, that means I'm gonna, hmm, yo, go for Demon Slayer. It's literally like the new Naruto, Naruto Ninja Storm. All right, all right. Best family game, hmm, probably best family. Okay, hmm. So this is more of a co-op. When I think family, it's like more than one player. So I'm gonna go with party. Even though I feel like this is a good game. If there's a like best co-op, this one. Definitely this one. It makes you have fun, betray each other, laugh. It's crazy. Sim strategy. Okay, so I don't know much about these sim strategy games. So, hmm. Hmm. Uh, all right, you sound interesting. <laughs> World domination. All right, all right. So let's see, best sports, nobody really cares, but let's do, what's, what, F1? No, for, there we go, Forza. Even though I think, I heard this was pretty fun, but Forza is obviously number one. That's like the only game to get on Xbox. Like, best multiplayer? Let me see the, the okay, New World, da, 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 no, okay. It Takes Two, It Takes Two is so much fun. Definitely wanna play that. Let's see, let's see. Uh, who the heck, I, I, you, I only know you from Fortnite, even though you're cute, but Fortnite, all right. I don't even know who, uh, who the heck is this. Who the heck? Who, what? what? Alright. Let's see. Now we're in the... Okay. Best Indie Debut. Hmm. This one? I, I remember the scene the trailer was pretty interesting. Hmm. But now nah, definitely gonna give it to, to Kenna here. Let's see. Most Anticipated Game? Uh, Elder Ring. Hmm. You know what? I'm very excited for, for this and this as well. If I'm getting a PS5, I'm definitely going to try to get these. Got to play the first one, though. But obviously, this one's going to win. Like, come on. If you vote any of these, I mean, of course, people have different fans, but Zelda's probably the best. But that's just me being biased. Best esports game? Uh, esports, esports. League of Legends. What is it? Probably 
this, but I want to give it to Valorant, the newcomers. Like, this guy's been king for too long, so let's give it to Valorant. All right. Uh, best eSport alley. I, I, I do not know who you are. Can I skip vote? Yeah, I have no idea who you guys are, so skip. Oh, yeah, I get I, I get I can. Esports team. Let me see. COD. Uh, no, I skip. Best, okay, skip. Sorry, I don't even know who these guys are. Best esports event. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's everything. So let's go view categories. All right, let's go back to game of the year. So after thinking about it, I'm going to give it to Metroid. Like I said, this one, with I guess I only voted for one, and it was like the best action game. and Because this one, to me, feels more like a horror puzzle game, right? At least from the trailer. That's what the trailers made it seem. But I still feel like a lot of people were hyped about it, and we got to help Nintendo. You know, uh, even though this is going to be hard for me. Again, this, this is my bias. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I think of at least the nominees. Um, I don't know what to expect this time around for the Game Awards. I know we just got an announcement for Sonic, um, especially with the new poster. I'm going to put it up here so you guys can see it. It looks beautiful. It, it just, like, it feels like it's a new render, like, of, of a game. Like, I guess they, they up their budget. You have Sonic, Tails, Eggman. It, it's, I can't wait to see what the story will be and what everybody's sounding like. And then for the game, that I can't wait for the game. Obviously, I, uh, I I've already did my Sonic Colors Ultimate playthrough. You guys can check out the link up here or at the end. Um, uh, and I might even, who knows? I might even do a, a Road to Sonic, you know, 2022 with some other games. Like I'm, I might replay Sonic Forces with commentary, and I'll see if I can play any other games like Sonic Mania. I, never, I have it, but I never finished it, so maybe. Um, and as for Zelda, I've already finished Zelda. You guys can also check out um, that game. Might leave a link here or at the end. Um, I need to finish Age of Calamity. Um, I know it's DLC, so I'll probably get to that as soon as I can. I, uh, that's my biggest goal, you know, is just to finish games. Um, I am pretty busy, so whenever I have time, I'll go ahead and do it. But, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. Plus, I'm also doing my movie channel. I'm reacting to some new shows now. Might even link, you know, Hawkeye, for example. I'll definitely link that up here. Um, so you guys can go see it if you're interested but i mean with that being said let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the game of the years like are you gonna vote for specific games or or uh, what do you, you know are, are you, do you guys wish other games were nominated let me know um and then let me know what else you're excited for the game awards especially because you know we don't have anything smash bros related so what else are you excited for but with that being said thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that i upload and until next time Bye.